Hello friends, subscribe technology and press the bell icon to never miss the updates. Hey what's up guys welcome back to our channel technology so today in this video i'm going to show you guys how to connect your home pc or laptop remotely using ip address so you just need to follow me and don't forget to subscribe our channel technology so at first you need to enable remote desktop on your computer so for that you have to go to your my computer first and after that you have to right click over there and go to the properties so if you are using windows 10 then the process almost same so after that you have to go to the advanced system settings and after that you have to go to this remote option now you have to choose the last option allow connection only from computer running remote desktop with the network level authentication the third number option you have to choose after that you have to click on apply and then ok so after that you have to open run box on your computer just pressing windows and r button together and after that you have to type over there cmd now press enter from your keyboard and after that you have to type over there IP config. Now you have to click on enter and now you can see your IP address over there. So you have to copy this IP address and after that you have to paste it on your remote desktop from where you need to connect. So now if you want to connect your PC remotely then you have to first go to your start menu and after that type over there remote desktop okay after that click on enter or you can go to the run box just pressing windows and r button together and after that type over there mstsc after that click on enter so you will get this remote desktop connection uh, window so now you have to put the ip address of your computer so after that you have to click on connect so if this process is not working for you, then you have to disable the firewall on your computer. So for that you need to go to your run box, just pressing windows and r button together. And after that you have to type over there firewall.cpl. Okay. After that press enter from your keyboard. And now you have to click on turn windows firewall on or off. After that you have to turn off the firewall from here. So I hope this small video will really help for you and please don't forget to click on the subscribe button, like button and share button and if you have any queries or questions in the comments down below, I will see you guys in the next one, next video. Take care.